Describe the game you enjoyed playing when you were younger. What is that game? Who you played it with? Where did you play the game? And explain why you enjoyed playing that game. Well, there are many games which are popular in my country. In my childhood, I used to play a number of different games. Here, I would like to talk about one of those games I truly enjoyed playing was cricket. Cricket is a popular sport played with a bat and a ball, involving two teams of 11 players each. It is widely played in many countries around the world, including my own. One can easily see people playing this game in almost every part of my country. I used to play cricket with my friends when I was in school during free periods in the ground and sometimes with my cousins in the ground of my village. During my school time, I had won many trophies by participating in tournaments at school level and district level. On weekends, my friends and I used to gather in the stadium and set up makeshift wickets using stones or sticks as the stumps. The game required a large playing area, so we would often find a spacious spot with enough room for batting, bowling, and fielding. There were several reasons why I enjoyed playing cricket so much. Firstly, it was a team sport, which meant that I could bond and collaborate with my friends or family members. We would strategize, communicate, and work together to outsmart the opposing team. These things used to make the game even more enjoyable. Moreover, cricket allowed me to experience the thrill of competition. Whether we were playing casually among friends or in a more organized setting, there was always a sense of excitement and anticipation. Cricket provided an opportunity to spend time outdoors, soaking in the fresh air and enjoying the natural surroundings. It was a chance to disconnect from screens and technology and immerse myself in a physical activity that not only kept me fit, but also allowed me to appreciate nature. Whether I was batting, bowling, or fielding, the game of cricket always left me with wonderful memories and a deep sense of satisfaction. What games do Indian children play now? Indian children currently engage in a wide range of games, both traditional and modern. Traditional games such as Kabaddi and Koko continue to be popular choices, promoting physical activity and team spirit. With the rise of digital technology, video games like PUBG Mobile and Free Fire have gained immense popularity among Indian children, offering exciting virtual experiences. Additionally, board games like Ludo and Carom remain popular choices for family and social gatherings. Do boys and girls play different games? Well, both girls and boys play different games. Boys mostly engage in physically activities and competitive games, such as sports or action-oriented video games. Girls, on the other hand, play nurturing and imaginative activities, such as playing with dolls. However, this gender difference is gradually decreasing, and both genders are now participating in same kind of games based on their personal interests. Why do children in kindergarten play games? Children in kindergarten play games for several reasons. Firstly, games provide a fun and enjoyable way for children to engage in physical activity and develop their motor skills. These games help children to learn important social skills, such as sharing, taking turns, and cooperating with others. Additionally, games in kindergarten promote cognitive development by encouraging problem-solving, critical thinking, and creativity. Should games only be interesting or only to learn? Games should ideally strike a balance between being interesting and educational. While it is important for games to engage players and provide entertainment, incorporating educational elements can enhance the overall experience. By combining fun gameplay mechanics with educational content, Games have the potential to foster learning and skill development in an engaging manner. Ultimately, the ideal approach lies in creating games that are both captivating and provide meaningful learning opportunities. Is winning important in games? Winning in games can hold different levels of importance depending on the individual and the context. For competitive gamers or those seeking validation, winning can be a primary goal, driving their motivation and satisfaction. However, for others, the enjoyment may come from the process, challenges, or social interactions within the game, rather than the final outcome. Ultimately, the significance of winning in games varies from person to person, and different players may prioritize different aspects of the gaming experience. Why are some people bad losers? Some people may be bad losers due to their competitive nature and a strong desire to win. 
They might have a fear of failure or a low tolerance for losing, which can trigger negative emotions and behaviors. Additionally, individuals with a sense of entitlement or an inflated ego may struggle to accept defeat gracefully. Finally, poor sportsmanship and a lack of emotional maturity can contribute to being a bad loser.